Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike Stickers here. So I want to let y'all know I'm finally fully monetized. So I want to give y'all the little rundown of how that works and what that might mean for the future. So check out the video and see what I got to say. So as of three days ago, I'm fully monetized. That means I start to get ad revenue. So it has to accumulate up to at least $100 every single month before they pay you anything out or, you know, they pay out every month, but it has to be at least $100 or more before they actually cut you a check. Um, so in the last few days, um, I've averaged, I would say about two to $3 a day in ad revenue. So I know that's super small, but it's the beginning of something that hopefully will snowball and turn into something much bigger. So um, as little as that sounds, like $2 per day, it's actually motivated me to make more videos and put more effort into it. And so, you know, what this means for y'all is that I'm going to be more active making videos. I'm going to try to end up eventually with money that I make from the YouTube channel. I know it sounds real small right now, but that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping that it'll add up and accumulate to more so that I can start to buy new equipment. And then with that equipment, I'm gonna learn how to use it. I'm gonna do reviews on it. I'm gonna do tutorials on it. I'm gonna, you know, say the good and the bad like I always do. And just let y'all know, um, you know, what's going on with, with what I'm doing. So uh, right now I haven't made any money off the, the channel except for the last few days really. And then, uh, but the plan is to, you know, any money that I make, just put it right back into the channel. Um, so that's, that's what I got going on now. Um, like I say, I know it doesn't like benefit y'all to help me with the algorithm other than the fact that I'm going to start to make some revenue off of it. And like I said, I'm going to double down, triple down with my efforts here and start to put a lot more into it. So before everything I was doing, you know, it was taking away time from the business, quite frankly, not making any money on it. So it's really just, you know, a gamble, hoping that this one day would finally pay off to where I can make something off of it. So please help to reward me by liking, sharing, um, hitting the notification bell. I've never really like pushed and tried to ask y'all to do all that sort of stuff. But like the notification belt is I think a big thing because it's going to pop up immediately. Uh, it's going to let you know about all the videos. It's going to help to, uh, I think, get me higher up in the algorithm. So I think anytime stuff like that happens, anytime y'all communicate with me through the comments or even like the videos, any of that stuff helps to push it up in the algorithm. So my videos are going to be you know available and they're going to be visible to more people because it's going to show up when they're searching for the videos and um that's just like i said that's going to help me to want to put more effort into this um that really could honestly be what makes or breaks me being able to quit my day job um with the way things slowed down during spring break and with me getting sick and uh, the depression that i had going on and everything else I haven't, you know, the business hasn't been, hasn't picked back up to the same level that it was at before. So, you know, I told y'all I was getting ready and I thought I was going to be able to quit my day job. And I really thought we were real close to that. Um, the orders were just coming in like crazy. And then, like I said, all that other stuff happened. Um, my motivation came down. Uh, energy level came down you know, and it, it greatly affected the business. So I'm trying to build back up that energy level, that, that um, like I said, that drive, that motivation. And the fact that, honestly, if I wake up and see that I made a dollar, two dollars off of these videos, that excites me like y'all wouldn't even believe. So um, it sounds funny. I mean, I've got a good paying job for my day job and um, you know, two dollars is nothing. But, like I said, I see where this could possibly lead into the future, and that's where I've been, uh, that's why I've been pushing on here, that's why I've been making the videos from the beginning. So, like I said, if you can, just please do that for me. It's going to help me, it's going to help me want to do this more, and, um, you know, I really appreciate everybody that's been watching, uh, people that comment, people that call me up, everyone that says that, you know, I've, I've helped motivate them or I've been a, um, 
what am I trying to say, like a role model for them when it comes to this stuff or a, or, or a guide or, you know, that they followed my path of what I'm doing that, you know, it really, it makes me feel real good. It encourages me. It makes me want to continue on and just push harder and push harder. So I really appreciate everything. And, you know, I don't want these videos to all be repetitive or anything. So if y'all can give me some ideas of what y'all like to see. I'll do the best I can with the equipment I have and the knowledge that I have. I'm not going to make videos about stuff that I have no knowledge of. That's the last thing I want to do. And like I'm testing out the silver material and I'm going to maybe buy some holographic to test out. Um, you know, I mean, this stuff looks good. It cuts good. I'm amazed with it. But I want to leave it sitting on, out in the hot sun, stuck to objects for months before I determine whether or not I'm going to try to actually push this product on my website uh, or, you know, if I'm going to tell y'all that y'all should actually use this stuff. So <clears throat> I try to be honest like that. I haven't come to the determination on the silver, on the silver chrome vinyl yet. Like I said, it looks amazing. I'm super thrilled about the prospects of it, but I want to test the longevity of it, see how it lasts over time. That yellow, high visibility yellow stuff that I tested out, it looked great early on as far as for what it might be intended. I, I mean, I, I really, I wasn't crazy about the way the print looked on it because everything looked darker. Um, my purple on my logo looked like it was brown. So I didn't like that, but I could see where if someone just wanted black on the high visibility yellow or just white, um, or sorry, not white, but just some other solid color directly on the high visibility yellow. If it's for some sort of safety sign or a warning sign, I could see how that could be, you know, uh, desired by some people. But the price point it was at was just way too high. I tested it out to see if there's any possibility I could utilize it anywhere in my business, and I don't think that there is. And I also I made some sample stickers to give out to some people, and I have a, a coworker for my day job that he put them on the put a couple on the side of his truck and you know I don't remember how long ago that was now I mean probably you know probably a couple months maybe a few months ago but they've already faded tremendously so it's not something that I would be pushing it's not something I'm gonna recommend it's something that I have no problem testing out but like you said like I said I'm gonna give my honest opinion about stuff so with that particular product you know, I don't see where it fits in for what I'm doing, and I'm sure it's a good product for indoors, but outdoor in the sun, it seems to have, you know, high color fast. It seems to fade really, really quickly, and, you know, like I said, I'm not crazy about the way the print looks on it because just it's not a good base to print on. I was really skeptical about the chrome. I didn't think that it would work out, but it actually looks really, really good. But um, anyway, so that's all I really got to tell y'all. Uh, this time I said that the, the ad revenue that adds up, it seems like it's really small right now, but I'm hoping it's really going to add up. So every day it refreshes, I believe, because every single day I've seen a couple more dollars in there. And, um, you know, I think the amount of money they take off the top is huge. I'm not worried about that. I'm grateful to get anything out of it. But like, for instance, the tip money that a few people gave me on there, uh, it was laughable, uh, the percentage that I actually received from that. And then I still haven't actually received any of it because it hasn't totaled up to $100 yet. So once everything totals up to $100, I'll get my first check, you know, after 30 days. Um, I'll go ahead and let y'all know what that is. I'm not gonna keep this sort of stuff secret. I don't really know exactly what Google is like, uh, sorry, if YouTube is okay with me talking about and divulging. So I'm not gonna like show any screenshots off of my web, off off of my page or anything like that, uh, showing the analytics or anything. But I'll talk about it. I don't mind that. I think that that's okay. And um, I want y'all to know, basically, like I said, I'm open of what this channel is all about. And so it's it's you know. It serves multiple people. It serves y'all to, to get the knowledge that I have and the, the, the skill and, you know, all the troubleshooting that I go through, I'm, I'm just telling y'all about it so y'all don't have to mess around with it. But at the same time, you know, 
I hope to benefit in the future by making revenue off this channel. That is my goal. I don't want to keep that a secret from anyone. Um, someone at one point in time said something about like, oh, you know, I don't like those people that are all out to make money. I was like, well, don't don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm here to make money. That's what this is all about. So, um, you know, I'm not trying to make money directly off y'all. I would like to make money off the ad revenue and the way that, that all this works. But um, if y'all seen YouTube is an amazing thing, you know, you can go there and learn about anything. And, you know, if this works out where it can create employment opportunities for people, I think that that's even better. So it's, it's quite amazing seeing what some people have done on YouTube. So it's, it's the way that I've learned about everything that I do here. Everything that I do, I learned on YouTube. Um, other stuff, you know, I, I learned the initial by watching some other videos on YouTube and then I go ahead and fine tune my own method, figure out what works best for me. I think the one thing that I am have a strong point on is troubleshooting. When I have a problem, I tend to be able to figure it out pretty well. But honestly, you know, when I can't figure it out, I go to the forums, I go to the, there's Facebook pages about these machines. I, I'm a member on those pages and I use that. I, I use other people to help me bounce the ideas off of what could be going uh, wrong whenever I have some sort of a problem and I can't figure it out myself. So, you know, that's the way I've learned. So that's what y'all should do as well. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm telling y'all the stuff that I know. So anyways, thanks for watching and until next time, see you guys later. Peace.